is Bonnie from Bonnie's Creative Place and I thought I would share with you some gift bag ideas in case you've got a last minute gift or somebody shows up and you want to make a quick bag or something you find out and you need it. This also works great for birthdays and stuff too but right around the holidays it seems like we're buying a bunch of stuff and if you are a crafter like me and have tons of scrapbooking paper on hand then you can make these up really quickly and they're nice and it's a little more personal they could save it just replace the tag and they could use it for that so this is a larger version I am going to show you the smaller version so that we can um, see it all on the camera but the larger version is done the exact same way with just some simple different measurements which I will make sure to have posted on the screen here for you. So let's get started. So when you make the larger one you need two um, 12 by 12 sheets. When we make the smaller one you need two 6 by 6 sheets. I think this is great if you want to give something to a teacher. Um, you could put a package of cocoa in here, some marshmallows, one of the little candy kings, and a little um, stick, and you could put a little tag on it, and this is something the kids can give to their teachers. They could give these out to their classmates in their little things. They also would be great for a gift card to just put it in here with some tissue paper and hang it on the tree or hand it to somebody. It, it, they're really cute. And you can make these any size thickness that you want. Um, it just depends on the size of when you make them bigger. Like on the bigger one, you could shorten that up and have it so it's narrower on the outside and just thinner. So there's a lot of different options that you can do with this. So let's get started on how I created this one here. So first thing you need is two sheets of six by six that are identical. Now be mindful if they are um, directional paper on both sides. I did not do that. I forgot about it when I was creating this one. I haven't done these in a long time. I have some older videos. If you go way back, you might see some. But um, I did not think about that with this one. And when I folded down my trees, my trees were upside down. And if I wanted this pattern on the outside. So be mindful if you have two directional papers on which one you want out. And if you have two, like I did, this one going this way and this one going that way, it's not always going to work. So what I ended up doing for this bag, just to let you know, is I cut two two-inch strips that were by 12, and I attached them to the top, and then I just had a little bit more reinforcement up here. But that's, that's how I fixed it, so this all did not go to waste. <laughs> okay, so now let's get back to the bag that we are going to be creating. So you need two pieces of 6x6 DSP, and then you need a little piece here that is of any color cardstock, it doesn't matter. I try to use the one that I have the most scraps of. And you're not going to see this piece. And this piece is three inches by one and a half. So that's what you need to make this bag, plus some ribbon. So for the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our scoreboard and you're going to use the thicker end. There's a thicker ball and a thinner ball. Use the thicker end because this is thin paper and you don't want to bust through it. You don't need to use a lot of pressure neither. So at the one and a half inch score line, we're going to score down on all three sides. So just give it a nice score on three of the four sides. So this is why I'm saying if you have directional paper, you want to make sure. As you saw when I put this in here, this was my top. So I want my top, I want to score this one at one inch. Only one side at one inch. So I'll explain that again. So we're going to put this in the paper, in the score. This is going to be my top. So I'm going to start with the one and a half. So because I have my presents, they are going a certain direction. So I want my presents, so I want this to be my top. So I'm going to start on this side. I'm going to score it at one and a half. I'm going to turn it. And on this side, I'm going to score it at one and a half. I'm going to turn it. 
and now on this side I'm going to score it one and a half and then when I get to my top which is right here I'm going to turn it and I'm going to score it at one inch so whatever one you want for your top because this is going to be the band that we're going to fold down you want that to be your top and that's one inch this is for the small for this small one okay now let's get this out of the way we're done with that for now and now we're going to bring in our scissors here and we're going to score just a little bit down here on the bottom so I can see because man I can't see worth anything lately <laughs> so we're going to score this and you're going to cut up to this score line and then you got this one right here and you're going to cut up to that score line so that's what we've done on one okay now we're going to take our other one right here and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to give it a little bit of a score for a minute. We're going to go back and score these better, but I just want to be able to see here. Now on this one, we're going to cut up to the score line and now we're going to cut this right off. Okay, and we're going to cut up. Then we're going to turn it and we're going to cut it off. Okay, I think I, I better cut that a little bit better. Uh, there we go. All right, so now we cut those two pieces off. So now let's give this a really good score. You're going to score it down like this and we're going to give it a very good score. Then we're going to take this piece and we're going to flip it over, line it up with your top. That's the most important is lining it up with the top and then score this really good. Up here is where you want your most good score. Then we're going to fold this over. We're going to line this up with the top. Now paper can be manipulated, so line it up there and hold it if you have to. And then score it down. Okay. Then we're going to fold this roll, fold this one up and we're going to score that. Okay. So there's that one. So now let's score this one. So we're going to score our top one down. So we're going to continue scoring all of these pieces up and around like so. And again, when we score this, make sure you line it up just like we did on the other side. Did this side yep okay so now we have this so now we're going to glue this together just like this i like to use liquid glue because i like it that it gives me a little wiggle room so i'm going to take and i'm going to make sure i go all around the outside edge of this and then in the middle like that then i'm going to line this up i'm going to look at it and make sure it's lined up along the bottom edge which I'm trying to do this and keep it in the camera and then I'm going to take my bone folder and give it a nice little score like that then we're going to do this side we're going to put glue all along the edge and then fill her in and then we're going to go like this and just get it down in there. Make sure that you're all lined up like so. And then reinforce it on the inside, just like that. Now, remember that little piece of paper that I told you you needed? And I'll tell you again, this was three inches by an inch and a half of whatever color. It doesn't matter. We're just going to cover this. You don't really need this if you're not going to put anything really heavy in the bag. But if you're going to put something heavy like in the big bag, this is why I'm showing you because I'm not showing you where the big bag goes. Then you want this for the big bag just for if you're going to put something heavy in it. But these ones when I made them for just little gifts, I did not put this piece in. So this piece is optional 
in the little one. But if you're going to do the bigger bag, I suggest putting this in. So I wanted to show you so that you would know what I was talking about. So now we're going to attach this together. So we're going to put all this adhesive oop, right along here. Oh, I'm having such difficulty right now. There we go. You're going to just butt the bottom of this up with that and flop it right in just like so. And then I like to take my bone folder and just reinforce it down. Okay. Now we're going to do the sides. So for the sides, we're just going to go along here. If I can stop wiggling, I'll keep it in the lines. <laughs> and we're going to fill in this one. And then I like to come over here and I like to do this one because sometimes when you pick it up, it does um, bring that other side up and it's just easier to put the glue on now for both of them. So now we're gonna bring this up. I like to line up my edges and my bottom, kind of hold them for a second. Then I'm gonna go to this side. I'm gonna do the same thing. Line up my edges, the corner and the bottom. And this is why I like to use the liquid glue. It gives you a little more wiggle room. Now inside here, I, they aren't sticking very good. So take your bone folder and just really reinforce them together. And then flip it over and do the same thing on this side. So they're just really good down and tight. Now we have these little flappy things that stick up. And what I do is I take some um, dimensionals, or not dimensionals, glue dots, and I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna just lift up the corner of this and put it right down. And that just helps secure the corner. And then we'll get another one here. And find the other side right here. And on the bigger ones, you can, if you use the little ones, you can use a couple. And if you do the, um, a couple little ones, but if you have some bigger glue dots like I do, then I just used one glue dot of the bigger dots. So that's up to you. Now, you can measure this out. On the big one, I did because I think it's a little more noticeable. On the little one, I eyeball it. So I just take a punch. I go down about a half an inch, go over about a, about a half an inch, three quarters, and I just give it a punch. Same thing here. I come over about three quarters and give it a punch. Then I flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go down over about three quarters and then I'm just going down and over about three quarters just like that. Now to tell which one is your front and which one is your back is the raw edges when you put the box together that came up they should always be in the back of the box. So this is my front of my box. So now I just got some ribbon here. And for this, you need about 10 to 12 inches, um, roughly, depending upon how long you want your handles to be and how good you are at tying your knot close to the edge and stuff like that. It all depends. So about 12 inches. And what I'm going to do is I like to start on the inside because I cut this at an angle because this is a tiny little hole punch here. You don't want to have it too big. Then you got to grab it with your nails or a pair of tweezers or whatever you want. And then put it back through on this side. This is just how I do it. Now, what I like to do is I like to push this down is like right to the edge of my base. That's how long I like it. So I like to push it down. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm a, I know I pull it back up. I'm gonna tie a knot right here. I'm gonna, tr before I pull it tight, there we go. Before I pull it tight, I'm gonna try to push it to the end, but before I pull it tight, I am gonna pull this string all the way down to the bottom again. 
right there, just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna pull it tight to make the knot tight. I'll pull it back out a little bit and I will trim this off. And then we're gonna pull it down. Now I'm gonna pull this one out. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make a knot. And again, before I pull it tight, I am going to, I have thumble fingers today. I am going to, before I pull it tight, I'm gonna bring this all the way down because I still have room to move it up and down the, the knot. Okay, it's right where I want it. So now I'm gonna pull it tight. Pull it back down and it's right where I want the, uh, the string or the handle to lie. And if you didn't, you can always fiddle with it. You can always remake the knot, you could do whatever. You would repeat that same thing on the other side. And then you would come up with something like this. And you could put a little tag on it, you could put a bow on it, one of those little tiny bows that they sell. And I made a little tag from this, from the tag punches or dies that they have but you could always cut out a tag whatever but I really think these are cute you could make narrower taller ones to put wine bottle in or something like that so I hope this helps you if you need a quick little gift or idea um something you know I think the package is just as as important as um you know the rest of the gift so I really really like um, how this turns out. So I hope you enjoy this and if you like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Thanks for stopping by everybody. Bye-bye.